in this world? Is the degree of entertainment of Moe controlled by some arbitrary spark or mental conditioning? Is it like your hands cannot stop masturbating to girls? At least it is true that I just wanted an excuse to put this berserk bit in. And to be quite honest, I have no excuse. I do what I want. Yo, I fucking hate this bitch. So, uh, yeah, Dragon Maid is pretty good. Um, uh, not gonna lie, it gave me a decent smile at times. A uh, slight chuckle. It was good. Kana was cute when she wasn't being looted by this worthless piece of shit. Oh! Oh, what? No! No! Oh, my god, no, please! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, oh my god, no! No, no, stop! No! No, what the fuck is wrong with you?! Oh my fucking god! Saikawa, you piece of fucking shit! What the hell is wrong with you getting like that? What the hell are your parents teaching you? Oh my god, oh, oh my god. Uh... When it comes to Saikawa, I kind of feel like she's supposed to be the average fat otaku self-insert. Which, unfortunately for me, I'm not fat enough to be an otaku. Or a pedo. But I am fat enough to like anime. And I am able to forget these, uh, scenes until the female lolly version of Jared Fogel shows up again. Kana is what I'd like my daughter if I ever had one, and everyone else's daughters to be like. Innocent. With the gradual rise to adulthood. Nothing like Saikawa, who unfortunately was like an extremely early bloomer, and what most people's daughters are turning into these days. A pedophile's wet dream. It's almost like she grew up with, uh, two lesbian parents. Big surprise if she did, and saw them twerking at each other, and was told exactly what was going on. And they told her to do stuff like that with other girls. No, mommy. It looks weird. Do it. Or else I'll give you an erple nurple. What? D don't you mean a purple nurple? Nope. And aside from those scenes with the lolly version of the female in the sex offender music video, it's a nice treat to just sit back and slap my dick around to in a non-sexual manner. Or, or a sexual manner, I mean, you know. Because otherwise, I'm just jerking off to Lukoa and Toru for having extra thick everything. To masturbate, it felt so good, it felt so nice, oh it's so neat to beat your meat, it felt so good, it felt so nice, oh it's so neat to beat your meat, it felt so good, it felt so nice, oh it's so neat to beat your meat. The plot of this anime is that a man with a vagina finds an overweight Rayquaza here with a sword in her back, takes it out, and tells her, Hey, you, you, you wanna sleep at my crib and be a housewife? The grateful Pokemon says, Oh, hell yeah, As I've stated already, this piece of shit can go burn in the trash, while this cute little piece of ravioli can just stay indoors where it's safe, away from the pedo bears and all that, and just, you know, never leave her room. The rest of the characters are pretty damn alright. It's nothing special that can't be found elsewhere. Unless you're Digibro who thinks that cute anime girls are the most special thing ever that makes an anime a genius level masterpiece. Until it's time for the next generic one. The dude probably calls every new brand of sliced bread a masterpiece. Case in point, these animes are usually funny, or not horrible in some way that it kills to watch it. But he's not wrong about this anime being good. Just not that good. The characters, though, are where your dick really starts to become like a diamond. A diamond that's unbreakable. Was that a fucking JoJo's reference? Yeah. I liked Makoto and Fafnir's otaku bromance going on. It kind of reminds me of the kind of friends I wish I had. 
Except for maybe Makoto's random spurts of geeky autism. Yeah. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, she just got- she called him son? After she threatened to kill him? What the fuck? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love seeing someone go insane over video games. OH SHIT! Oh, ah! But it's not what I want to see when they're talking to me, unless I'm also feeling a little crazy. Which is most of the time anyways. GET AWAY FROM ME! Ah! Lukoa's hot as fuck, and the biggest reason to watch this show, if you catch my drift. Oh! 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 oh. Elma's got a nice ass, I guess. Extra sick! Shota is Shota, and he's basically at the age where being a dense harem protagonist would make sense, considering how often he freaks out so much in his own cute little way at Lukoa's misguided attempts at being close to him. Oh, damn. Oh, good on you, boy. God, look at her tits. Oh. Extra sick! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh god, come on, Lukoa, I know you're a thick-ass bitch, but come on! Oh, come on, no! Oh, Jesus, look at you! Look what you did! Look what you did! That's all you! Okay? You did bad! And Toru and Kobayashi have a nice little dynamic going on, with Kobayashi slowly getting Toru accustomed to the human world, and Toru supporting the person who basically pulled the Master Sword right out of her back. And uh, I guess the jokes are decent. There's a decent mix of physical humor without it being too pretentious. If a person gets beat up, it's either for a reason usually, or it doesn't boil down to a girl beating up a guy for being a guy and catching them naked or something equally as stupid and coincidental. Oh sure, physical harm for something nowhere near as bad. Not like you forgot to lock the door to the bathroom, One-chan. It's safe on the humor aspect. When Saikawa isn't looting my ravioli, but yeah, this anime is uh, funny. Not laugh your ass out loud funny, as we've seen jokes like this before, I'm sure. But it's nothing that shouldn't suffice for a decent chuckle, considering how they go about telling the same jokes that we've all probably seen before. Hey, did I forget to mention how much I love the fucking opening? It's like if you took the feelings I get when I eat pizza and slap in the feeling I get when I find that one hentai of that one girl I've always wanted to see get dicked and just put both of them together and make something that has that mix of jazz and cute anime bullshit that I love from time to time. Even the fucking townsfolk are like high off of something if they're all just flying through the air like that. You know, overall, Maid Dragon, you know, it's a really nice piñata. It's a piñata of things that you beat with your stick to get all the different candies. Some candies you love, some you like, some you're okay with, and then you find the dots. Those, you know, those colored chewables that no one I knew liked. I'm looking at you, Saikawa. Yeah, you're a dot. Like the annoying sister from the Animaniacs, but without the charm of being a reality-bending cartoon sandbag for my amusement. But in all honesty, this is probably my first run-in with this author and his work. And judging by how I felt about Maid Dragon, I'd be willing to give his other stuff a ride and see where the wind of the internet takes me next. It's a pretty good anime, and I don't think I'd mind going on an autism-fueled hunting spree for more of his stuff. That that's uh that's the end of the video. I I don't know where to end it off. You know, fuck you. Go watch Maid Dragon. If you don't like it, you'd probably need to be shot in the head by Ash Williams and chainsawed, or or just sent to your room. I mean, that always works. Ugh. Who the fuck wrote this fucking script? I don't know what this video is. If this is gonna be like an update to what I'm doing, what's going on. I don't know what this video is. I just felt like I had to speak out and say this shit. Oh, hell no! Hey, guys. How's it going? So I hope you liked the video. I just felt like I wanted to start doing more reviews or, of stuff, you know, and I, I was inspired to do something kind of like Demo D. I was watching a few of his videos and some of Gigax, you know, just gotten 
got into the mood. Even if it's nowhere near as good. And I really want to stress just how much I, you know, I need to take my time on videos. And not just videos. Like, the usual masturbation and laziness applies. <laughs> if I don't act lazy or masturbate regu regularly to thick anime tits, I break out into hives. Sort of. I just really want to take my time. I can't really stress myself too much considering how autistic my life already is. I just took a hit with Hurricane Harvey, too. You know, I haven't been able to go out lately, you know, because it's been, like, fucking flooded around the place, you know. Luckily, my power ha didn't go out, but I didn't really feel like making a video. I was just, like, I couldn't even leave my fucking apartment. So I want to be able to do things at my leisure. To be honest, I don't even owe this explanation for my usual video making patterns since I never promised any actual schedule. I just make what I want when I want, so I'm probably wasting time. But if you subbed expecting some super duper amazing quick consistent schedule, then fucking hell no. Maybe I might live stream a decent amount of random stuff, you know, at random times in my life, but I'm not going to tie myself to a schedule. Angry Joe, I'm looking at you. If you never promised a schedule and just promised quality content or an attempt at it, I'm pretty sure you'd be fine. Goodbye, everyone. Don't do drugs, kids, or else Santa's going to get you. And by Santa, I mean Santa Anna. Don't mess with him. He'll kill you.